All righty, folks. So what are we doing? Can you see it? Not really. Hold on. You can kind of see it, but Best Buy's in the background. Doing some movie shopping. Uh, this is like the fifth time and since she's been back that we've gone to a different Best Buy. Going in and out of phases where we go through and buy a bunch and we come back and we don't and then we wait like four months and then we do it all again. This is obviously one of those places where we buy too much because found a stack of movies, none of which I've seen, but at least three of them I feel like that kind of completes the set. She went to like four stores the other day without me because I was at work and came away with way too much shit and she still bought a bunch of shit today. So as you can see, there's Best Buy in the back top there. There she is, mask and all. You gotta love having to wear a mask at these stores. I think the plan now is to go to Walmart up in Vancouver. We're in Washington. We're in Oregon. I mean, Vancouver, Washington. And then we'll show you. <laughs> then we'll show you the load and I'll show you what I've recently purchased and some new changes to my movie. Before I end the video, I'll let her say hey. But this will be the beginning of what movies I've bought. Because she did a big old video with all of her new movies and I haven't. And so. all the old ones I haven't done. So hey, how you doing? I never realized how offset this mask looks. <laughs> now it's off. Anyway, but yeah, just wanted to shoot a quick video. Uh, let's just show you what we got from here if we go anywhere else. But right now, the only place I don't think we're going is Walmart. But if we get anything from there, then we'll get some coffee before we head over there. Wink, wink. What are you saying? No, oh, no, I'm just asking. Nudge, nudge. <laughs> <laughs> wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. nudge. <laughs> She's going. Anyway, but yeah, I will talk to you in the next segment. Stay safe. Well, it was about you now because we turned around, but we were facing Walmart, which is why the video was facing that way to the top. But we just got out of Walmart. As you can see, there are bags besides their trash. <laughs> there are bags back there. Um, the brown bag is what we got at Best Buy. Best Buy. I'm forgetting where we've been. This is her Walmart stash. Mine is behind me. As I'll show you guys later because her video is probably not uploaded. Depending upon which way you looked at her video. You're just going to look at her because it feels weird talking to people. I like to look at me. I'm eating a Twix. Watch you, eat a, you eat a Twix when I talk. Film the Walmart. No. Anyway. I will show you guys when I get back what we've gotten. I'll show you my haul before that. This will be the last video I put up with all of it together. And you'll see why we have so much extra room in my move room. If you have not seen what she's done to her room yet. Because I'm guessing her video isn't uploaded either. Then you'll understand why we seem to be going crazy and buying more movies. I bought more movies in the last two weeks than I've never or you've ever seen than I have in my life. I mean, to be fair, they're like $6 movies. So I don't feel as bad, which is why I'm buying them. But still... But yeah, this is Vancouver. We are leaving Vancouver. Say goodbye, Twix face. Bye. Oh, they really need to redo this road. Do they? Okay, tell they, the tell the people why. They really should repave that road. Tell them why. The shade. <laughs> Bless you. Okay, I'm gonna go now. That's not saying that much. Going <laughs> we are driving out. Uh, yeah, you can see it backwards, but you saw it. Target. Uh, this is a random choice spot. So we've gone to Best Buy, Gusham, Walmart in Vancouver, and Target in Portland. I just not thought about that. We did hit all three that we normally hit, didn't we? Just some really weird locations. Yeah, we did do a normal <laughs> spring. I mean, no offense, but we I went to Fry's the other day. We don't really go out there anymore. They keep saying they're having problems getting supplies, but they said that for like, like a year now. Like their movie section literally is like, one rack of like maybe 12 movies that are actually sellable and then the other two racks of movies now are all previously owned that still cost like 10 bucks like, I've been there in forever there's an, the last I, time I went it was so disappointing yeah when I went there I went there last week it was bad I, I'm not going back there again I went by because I work in that area and I was like alright let's check it out um but yeah when I get back I'll tack this on to my video and new movies I'll include all of these buys I'll show you separately and then all the ones I bought on either through Amazon or other stores. Like I said, we kind of stopped for a while and then we got crazy back into it. So I got a lot of stuff I bought online plus all this stuff and some other stuff I bought at stores. But I'll show you all that when I, got, when I get back. We went crazy. 
But we have more room, which I'll also show you how when I get back. Goodbye. So, um, so it's a new day, obviously. Different shirt in my bedroom now. Um, so I was going to show you what I got from all these places. And then my previous snack, some of you Amazon and shopping vendors like this. And yeah, let's jump right into it. You will see a difference if you look down here. You see all my regular movies up here. It looks a little weird. I'm going to explain those when I get to them. I'm going to start with the movies first, and I'll jump up to those. Fan is on because it's 90 degrees out, and my AC is on, but it never works. So just bear with the noise. Sorry. Stay. You're on. You're perched on a very weird ledge right now. My phone is, so if it falls, I'm sorry. Alright, I'm just going to grab a chunk of these, because I know all these ones I haven't seen. They're already new, sometimes both, and work my way down, and then we'll do the ones on top. So, first one is Pan. Um, based off of Peter and Pan. I like some of the cast in it, but I've never seen it. I just like Peter Pan. Running Scared. I've never seen it, but it's one of those action type movies I like, and it has Paul Walker in it. And, I've liked it and everything else. Decided to try it. One hour photo. Uh, it's kind of hard to see it because it's a weird case. It's just his face. But this is a good movie. Uh, it's got Robin Williams. It's the only movie I've ever seen where he plays a bad guy. Uh, basically, he pays... Uh, let's see. He doesn't really say it, but he plays a stalker. I was trying to think of what the name is. And he is like a photo guy at like a Walgreens almost, and I don't remember if it's a Walgreens, but it's like that. He prints out photos, and he's really attached to this one family and thinks this one lady's really pretty, and towards the movie, he gets a little bit more and more crazy as he gets fired and he gets caught, and like I said, never seen him in a thriller. Good movie. Great. I have seen this movie. Um, it looks like what it looks like. A family goes on vacation. The new stepmother gets sent with the kids to go on a safari ride. The vehicle breaks down and the entire movie is about them trying to figure out how to escape from giant lions in their country. It's a good movie. I like or staple movies. Problem Child 2. Now, I actually do own Problem Child 1. Problem Child 2 has the other little girl that he meets that raises hell as the parents, as his new dad is trying to get married. Her new mom is looking for somebody and they devise this plan to basically raise hell together so the parents end up together. Haven't seen it in a while, but I do like those movies. See No Evil 2. Um, I own See No Evil 1. See No Evil 2 was always my favorite. See No Evil 2 kind of happens in a hospital and they throw a party in the hospital right as they bring him in right after the first movie. And of course, like every freaking Halloween character, he pops and wakes back up and it's about them trying to survive. Silver Lining Playbooks. Haven't seen it, really just wanted to see it because of who was in it. The Way Back. Haven't seen it. It just looked good in theaters and all these movies were about 12 bucks. And in my mind, that makes them worth it. Mr. Harlan's Opus. I have seen this one. This one's a really good movie with Richard Dreyfuss, who basically is kind of conned back into producing a... Or to be the... What is it? Cold composer and uh it's a really sweet movie so mostly a family movie but it is kind of cool the end of it's really cool venom haven't seen it. the second one's coming out i like like these type of movies i just never watched it because i've never been a big fan of villain movies but with the second one coming out and people liking this one so much i'm gonna give it a shot scoob um of course i'm a scooby-doo fan so i had to buy this i have seen it it really reminded me of like aspects of the two live action ones and then, like, a Despicable Me bad guy. I mean, it wasn't anything like the original Scooby-Doo stuff, but it is a good movie. Transformers, um, to be honest, this is, like, I think the sixth one, fifth one, which just completes my series. I've never seen them all the way through, but I just was at a store and they had it. I think it completes my series, so I bought it. Stepmom, uh, this is an older movie. I saw it back when I was 11 or 12. 
Um, Susan Sarandon and Juliet Roberts, basically, Susan Sarandon is diagnosed with cancer. Her husband, Ed Harris, meets this lady, and it's a movie about them trying to work together, fighting half of it, the kids not welcoming the new mother, and it's a sad movie. It's a sad movie. Penguins of Madagascar. Um, it's a spin-off movie about the penguins from the Madagascar films. I've never seen them. The Kitchen. Um, honestly, I just thought Tiffany Haddish and Melissa McCarthy would make a great duo, duo in a movie. Not that this looks too much like a comedy, but I just wanted to see it. Once again, it was cheap. Zombieland 2. Uh, I bought Zombieland 1. I always wanted to see it. There was was there. It was 12 bucks. And I know eventually I'm going to buy the second one because I complete sets. Bad Times at El, El Royale. To be honest with you, I don't even know what this movie is really about except for the fact that they meet at a hotel and something happens. But I like the cast in it. Cheap. That's my answer to everything today. Yesterday, it's a movie. I remember the trailer. He wakes up and he's the only person that knows about the Beatles and he kind of becomes famous because he redoes their songs. Never seen it, heard from people it was good, bought it. 13 Ghosts. I have seen this one, but it's very long ago. I remember they move into a house, a bunch of glass panels and like a weird like thing in a room that summons these demons and they got to put them away and it was good back then, but I haven't seen it in forever. So I don't remember the exact. Daddy's Home and Daddy's Home 2. I've never seen them. I just like these type of movies usually I'm not a big comedy person but with the people that are in them I thought I'd give it a shot priest and legion both of these movies especially priest are my type of movies vampires killing all that kind of stuff so it was cheap um good liar this is actually a movie my sister just watched when she was driving away or on a plane and she said it was a great movie you have to buy it through it in my hands and because I was going crazy I bought it because eventually we're going to watch it and eventually I'm going to want to own it once I watch it. Green Book. Have not seen it. Viggo Morrison takes around a... I don't remember. A black pianist on a concert tour into the deep south and he's there to kind of protect them against racialism and stuff like that. And I haven't seen it, but it looks good. Midwest. Midway. <laughs> Just joking. I haven't seen this one. I saw about 30 minutes of it. I knew that the pilot had said they had to go up there one more time. And I know it's against Japanese naval ships. And it all happens basically on the water from what I saw. But I haven't seen the beginning of it to really know what war they were fighting. I mean, Japanese kind of gave that away. But for sure. Uh, Angel Has Fallen is the second one. Basically, it's a White House down, I believe. At least that's what I thought it was. After reading it, I don't. I think it is. I just think it's a whole other movie like that. But I like Gerard Butler, Morgan Freeman, Jada Pinkett Smith. There's some good actors in it. And like I said, I liked White House Down. So obviously I like president movies. There was one that had Ryan Reynolds that I liked too. So with the president. So what is it going to call it good? Hustle. Never seen it. This is supposed to be the girl remake of Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. But I like these two actresses. So I thought I'd give it a shot. Legally Born Collection, don't ask me why I bought it. I've never seen it, but they were nine bucks. And in my day and era, being a 90s kid, I was supposed to have seen that movie, so I bought it. Upgrade. Remember the trailer for this one? It looked pretty cool, but basically he gets, like, computer upgraded. And he goes out on a, a tax spree because people are after him or something like that. I obviously have not seen it. Okay, here's the stupid part. I literally only bought this. It's Clash of the Titans and Wrath of the Titans because I own both these two movies as skill packs and from what I'm doing with them they don't fit so I didn't want to make a copy of them and make them look weird again so I just bought them because they were six bucks I'll explain that later Gremlins 1 and 2 honestly I have not seen either one of these in years I think I've only ever seen Gremlins once I know there's like you know don't feed it don't whatever and then it turns in from a Furby into like a green killing thingy and it raises havoc I haven't seen it isn't it romantic? Uh, it's the newer movie that came out. I don't know. I haven't seen it. It just looked good. A lot of this stuff was literally most of the stuff was from a 696 Walmart bin. So I don't feel that bad. 
This one I'm actually really excited about. So I just watched a movie called Hacksaw Ridge, which I've owned for almost two years and never seen it. And it's a war movie based on real life events. If you haven't seen it, it's a really cool movie. Guy never picks up a weapon once, but still receives, receives a Purple Heart, I think is what they call it. And I mean, it's a really good movie. But this was in the trailer for it when they were talking about the movie. And I was watching this. And this is about the Boston Marathon where the bomb went off based off live events, of course. And it looks really good. And when I was in the Walmart, then I was like, no flipping way. I was just talking about it. So, of course, I picked it up. Statue. It almost just fell out. A lot of these movies are going to be movies I haven't seen. Like usual, just bear with me. Point Break, haven't seen it. Read the back, it looked like an action movie. Looked good. Geostorm, haven't seen it, but it's a movie about giant storms. Uh, I like sci-fi movies and stuff like that. Thought it'd be good. All these are Walmart bins, by the way. And yeah, La La Land. Honestly, I've heard from two or three people that this movie sucked ass, but I wanted to watch it. It was cheap. And Glorious Bastards is actually a movie somebody gave me on DVD that I never got around to watching. And one of my friends recommended it. I still never watched it and just saw this there and went crazy. Book Club. Um, a movie about an older group of ladies that go to a book club and a bunch of weird life stuff happens. I'm assuming I haven't seen it. It looked good, but I never saw it. Don't judge me on this one. But Apollo 13. Um, I have not seen this one. But I like the actors in it. I know it's an older movie, but I do like the actors in it. It just got released on 4K. I thought I'd give it a shot. Hunter Killer. Honestly, it's just because it had Gerald Butler and Gary Oldman. Never seen it. Escape from New York. I've seen many years ago. Barely remember much about it. But when I saw it, I'd been trying to remember what this movie was called for about 10 years. And when I picked it up in the bin, it finally I was like, it's this one. So I bought it. And then right next to it is Big Trouble in Little China, which I'm pretty sure I've probably seen too. I might be seeing them both and confuse them, but it's kind of what he was big for back then, so I figured I'd pick him up. Primal is a new movie with Nicolas Cage and some other actors, you know, about um, Leopard and some people after Leopard, and I've never seen it. Five Feet Apart. It's a new romantic movie. My niece loved this movie. She saw it 52 times. Never seen it. 47 Ronin. Never seen it. Pay It You Give. I remember the trailer for this one. Wanted to see it. Never saw it. Gonna see it now. Young Guns. This is actually a movie she pointed out in the pen. And I figured since I was already buying these other movies, I might as well get it. Just because I like the cast that's in it. I mean, they're... Speaking of Young Guns, there are young guys in it that I've seen in other stuff now, so why not? Uh, Camp Cold Creek. Camp Cold Brook. Uh, it was a movie I actually wanted to watch on, it's on, see, you got a weird angle because of the sun right now, I'm trying to, like, help you, but it's not working, anyway, it was a weird, it's a little better, okay, we'll go on this side and tilt it in a little bit for you, anyway, it was a movie I wanted to watch that was originally on Net or Amazon Prime, you had to buy it, and I didn't want to buy it, and then lo and behold, it really on the radar, and I ended up buying it, but it is kind of interesting to see Chad and Michael Murray back in something, and of course, uh, Daniel Haler's you know, they say Jamie Lee Curtis was the 90s scream queen. I think she, like, wins it completely. Call Wild. Call of the Wild. Harrison Ford and Buck the Doll go on an adventure. Never seen it. Just saw the trailer. Hellboy, the newest one. Never seen it. But I own all the other ones. So I figured to pick it up. Fighting with Family. Um, I have seen parts of this one. I know it's about Paige the Wrestler and her and her brother both get an opportunity to basically fight to see who's going to be in the WWE and it causes a family problem and eventually she's like she doesn't want to do it and then at the end she obviously does it and becomes Paige if, if you guys follow wrestling and know who that is if you don't then I only know who that is because I watched a little bit with my babysitter and played a lot of WWE wrestling games. Alright, here's gonna come with me. 
So I'll show you all these movies real quickly because they're down here. So without a paddle, I have seen this one. Basically three friends go on a mission to go find a lost treasure. It's on like a map and a lot of things go wrong. It's a, like a raunchy comedy type movie, but it's funny. Let's see if this will work. Hold on. Sweet. Um, the Witches. This is another movie I watched in the 90s. Angelica Houston and I don't know who the boy plays. But basically, they play a, she plays a witch and he plays a kid and they were creating this potion to basically like suck the lives out of kids and the little boy happens upon it and finds a way to kill the entire like evil convention of witches and weird but good. Wrong Turn 6 just completes my Wrong Turn collection. I think the movies that I have has Let's see. It has one through five. Six was the next one I needed. And that was my justification. Still Magnolias. I have seen this movie. It's been a while. If you don't know what this is, just look it up. It's a very popular old movie. Family drama type movie. Sleepaway Camp is a horror movie. Watch it off of Netflix. It's a very interesting 90s type slash horror movie. Selena. Um, it's kind of the main role that actually got Jennifer Lopez kind of started with all of her stuff, but this is a good movie based off of a real life singer and her shows, you know, her musical career, her Spanish and American musical career, and then unfortunately she was murdered. Real life story. Sharknado. Um, I'm not explaining it. I just like those type of movies. Those ones in particular are worse than anyone I've ever seen, but they are bearable, so I watch them. Walter Mitty. Have not seen it. She owns it. <laughs> Looked weird, but I'm into it. Robin Hood, the one with Kurt Russell Crowe. I always want to say Kurt Russell. Um, I have seen this movie. I know Kate Blanchett plays Mary Marion. It's been forever since I've seen it, though. Roadhouse. It's in about six minutes of this movie. That's it. But... It's six dollars and it's a Patrick Swayze movie. I picked this up randomly at a 7-Eleven. Luke Wilson. Oh my god, what's her name? Helen Hunt. Never heard of it. But honestly, it looks cute. It's like a family movie. Ready or not, you saw us review it. I finally picked it up. She had it. I never did. I'm pointing that way because you're literally in between the two walls. Problem Child 1. This one is the one where uh, the little boy gets adopted and causes havoc and kicks another girlfriend away and yeah, Buddy I think is yeah Buddy's the kid's name. He has a lot of problems. Perfect Storm. I have seen the last basically forty minutes of this movie. That is it. Vacation. Only got it because it was based off of National Lampoon, which honestly I couldn't stand National Lampoon's Vacation. But I kind of thought that maybe the newer version wouldn't be as bad. Speaking of National Lampoon, this is the only other one I will buy. That's what I say now, but I'll probably buy them all because I've seen them all. But I just recently watched this one. This is the one my sisters both love. Is the Christmas one. I never saw this one all the way through. It's not as bad as some of his other ones. But, I don't know. Music and lyrics. Um, don't remember it that well. I remember, like, ones like... A writer and one the singer they kind of find each other and help each other create like a masterpiece song and it's a good movie but I don't remember much murder on Orient Express you can't see that but you can see that <laughs> uh, mainly got it because of the cast that's in it don't even care what it's about mr. Popper's penguins I know what that's about because I've seen sections of it about a man who kind of adopts some penguins and I don't know what happens but I'm gonna find out. Mermaids. I have seen this movie. She seen, saw it quite a bit when I was younger. Don't remember a thing about it though. Me Before You. Um, this is a romantic comedy. Um, it's a cute movie. He's like a paraplegic and kind of just wants to die and doesn't want to live and she kind of goes to take care of him and of course they end up falling in love. I say it like that because I obviously already said romantic movie. Lottery ticket. Um, these little stickers right here I mean I got them from 7-Eleven. So for four bucks just to see them 
comedy movie, I picked it up. Lake Placid, one and two. These are some good movies. Um, they actually sci-fi made like a Lake Placid for three, four, five, six. If you want to get technical, and they got worse as they went along, <laughs> but I like them. Um, like I said, cheap horror movies, but I like them. All right, so give me. I'm gonna pause this for a second. Can I have something to drink? I'll be on in one more minute. All right, thank you for the, that second so i could drink some liquid um so i'm gonna show you like i said earlier if you notice these are normal dvds these are not so i started running out of room in my collection and instead of just sucking up to the fact that i'm out of room in my collection which i'll never do as you can tell by my seasons and crap they all everything keeps growing I decided that I would buy these slip covers. Now, I'll be honest with you, this was a real hard one for me because I really like how the spines look. Uh, you can see the movies. I mean, some of them have these collectible lenticular covers on them that are I'm trying to pull them out. That are just, you know, the slip covers are just awesome and pretty, for lack of a better word. So this was kind of a tough one. In fact, it took me a while just to start throwing away Blu-ray cases. If you look on the bottom, I still have like a few layers. But let me give you a hint. So this, if you look, this whole top row, uh, maybe second row on this little section right here, was almost one, two, three, four sections of original movie cases. Because originally, that whole section was clear, got that stuff in it, and so did these sections. So we're talking one, two, three, three in them half well okay we'll call it yeah three and a half with some of the bigger stuff that would have fit in there i've kept rows of my stuff just fit into one and a quarter so it saves me almost twice as much space eventually i'll start having to cram these together a little bit more and i'm sick of holding it again sorry <laughs> let me put you down here hold on hold on hold on that's a little better eventually i'm gonna get sick of holding them and I'm gonna have to buy a bunch more of these. So what these are, let's just start with the movie that we actually have to look at, is they call, so first of all, the other movie I got was Joe vs. the Volcano. I saw it on a trailer on something, it looks funny. I just watched Castaway, I was in a Tom Hanks mood, and this is what I got. But so this is what you're looking at. So basically it's a cover where your entire slip cover slides in behind it. You make one fold in the back, and the entire cover's there, so you got the whole, page of your binder pretty much on this if you had like extra little pamphlets and stuff you can slide them through this little pocket right here like little dvd codes or stuff because you want to keep it you've also got like a little section up here i don't know if you can see it but this little top section is for sliding stuff in i don't exactly know what they want you to put in there somebody said like personal movie reviews and stuff or whatever i don't care but the main part of this is this first layer is your CD. Now, my sister didn't like these because she was worried they would fall out. These are so tight in there, but I've shaken like 50 of these at a time. I mean, look at this. Okay, so... <laughs> That wasn't a good example. But let's put it like this. To get that disc out of there, I was really shaking it. I mean, just holding it like this and taking stuff out, it's not doing anything. I literally had to shake it out. So I guess she is right. They do come out, but they only come out if you're like, thinking them to come out. Let's see, let's find the next one. Next movie I got was Ice Age. It is the last one in the series when we did I'll explain something else later, but I'll explain why you watched it in a second. But it is the last one in the series I just recently watched. Same thing, like I said, you got your main disc up there, but if you see it, like right here, you've got a second disc. That is because there's two layers to this thing where you can slide a second disc in. I like the felt on the back of these to keep them safe. Like I said, minimal using and grabbing, they do not come out. You can still see your cover. Um, they do have a little bit more of a tint than hers does. But honestly, when I'm looking at it, when I'm not directly in light, it looks fine to me. 
like this when they're vibrant and they're like bright colors they look just fine it doesn't bother me so these are also more expensive than hers so she bought them and she's when i say hers i mean ashley of course when she bought hers she's paying like so much for 400 of them i'm paying basically 19 dollars for 25 of these suckers so these are more expensive more name brand these are called pop socks you can see a little thing on the side if you're interested like i said i do think they're an awesome solution because the ones she has the reason i don't like it is just one big pocket you just stick a bunch of cds in it close it up and that's it like this feels thicker this feels better it's easier to see the binding if you ask me so i didn't even tell you about the movie i was talking about the sock uh hustlers never seen it uh i just want to see it because it had jlo in it but i've never seen it all right two movies two guns i've never seen it it's an action flick though it's got some good people in it next one is 1917 i actually went and saw this one in theaters with my sister we should have done a movie review so obviously yes that one i have seen and i'm not a big fan of war movies usually but i do like that one uh let's see 300 and 302 i've seen parts of both of them don't know don't care Honestly, probably not movies I'm going to watch all the time, but they were like $4 movies and we were at 7-Eleven and I figured, why the heck not? 33, this is another real life story about a group of miners. It looked good, but I have not seen it. A Simple Wish. This is a movie I used to watch when I was younger too. This movie is... One of those movies that's really cute and also somewhat cringe-worthy to watch. Um, it's got Martin Short, the same little girl that's in Matilda, and Kathleen Turner, I think her name is. Yeah, <laughs> for once I knew them all. Um, basically, she wishes for something. She gets a fairy godmother, which is Martin Short, like the only guy fairy godmother who's in training. And they end up having crossing hairs with an evil witch and half a defeater. Her dad gets into some trouble. I mean, it's a definitely a kid's movie. Akila and the Bee. Um, this is kind of the first movie I ever saw Kiki Palmer in anything. But I think kind of got her name to it. But she's a young lady who lives in not a great neighborhood. And basically enters the Spelling Bee Championship and... I don't remember if she wins it or not, but I thought that movie was good, actually. I used to have that movie on DVD, and then I finally realized they had it out on Blu-ray. I might have already talked about these ones. I don't know if I did, but American Tale and American Tale Five Will Goes West. Now, when I was growing up, my aunt owned one where they were in Manhattan, which has not been released on Blu-ray. That's the one I remember watching. Um, but I have recently seen this one. I watched this one by myself in my bedroom a few months ago. Not when I owned it, but on TV. Um... I mean, it didn't have the same type of pizzazz as the one I had watched when I was a kid, because I hadn't seen it before, but it still was cute, so I'm assuming this one's going to be cute, but if you guys are hearing me out there, you should make that man at it one on Blu-ray, like, anytime soon. 7-Eleven Buy Again, it's called The Apparition. It's got Ashley Green in it, which the only thing I know her from, honestly, is Twilight, but I'm just 7-Eleven, you know, $3 bin. <laughs> 7-Eleven, $3 bin. Uh, that's called Baby Driver. I did want to see this, but I have not. I know he's like a getaway driver. And then he wants to get out of the business when he falls in love with a lady. Beauty Shop. Uh, this is an old movie. I have seen this. It's got Queen Latifah basically as a struggling artist who opens up her own shop after her boss is a dick to her. And falls in love and the kid's cute in it. And yeah. Beethoven is another one of those 90s movies that I'm talking about. About a family that adopts a giant ass dog that gives them hell, and eventually at the end they rescue the dog, and that also spawned like seven movies. <laughs> Blazing Saddles is actually a movie that one of my friends from work keeps telling me to watch. I've never seen it. Honestly, I don't like westerns. I don't, I'm not a big fan of old movies. I got it because it was $4 at 7-Eleven, and he keeps talking about these characters and comparing them to people that I work with, and so now I have to watch it at one point. 
but it ain't gonna be anytime soon. Let's see, The Boy 2, have not seen it. The Boy 1 was pretty good. I can't imagine what this one's going to be about. They already explained the child lived, and that's who turned into The Boy. So what is The Boy 2? I don't know. Raven, $3. I like some of the cast in it, and it's got Jason Momoa, and it was $3. And I wanted to see him in something besides, because I never watched Game of Thrones. I know, shocker. I want to see him in something besides just Aquaman. And that's all I've ever seen him on. Candyman. Um, I mainly got this because the newest one is supposed to be coming out. But I have seen this movie. I watched it a year or two ago with my sister for the first time. It was one of those weird horror movies. It wasn't bad. I do like it. I know people like my brother-in-law and stuff said that this is one of the scariest movies they watched when they were a kid. I don't understand it. But that I've also been, I want to say brought up with horror. But basically since I hit 12, I've been brought up with horror. Carrie. Uh, this is the new Carrie with Chloe, whatever her name is. I have never seen it. Honestly, the first one was just weird to me. I saw the original one, so I'm assuming it's going to be close to that, but the first one always bugged me because I never liked Sissy Safe back, and I didn't like the fact that it just... I don't like the older sh horror movies, I guess you'd say. Cinderella Story and another Cinderella Story. I think I've seen the one with Lizzie... Lizzie McGuire. Did I really just say that? Hillary Duff. <laughs> I think I've seen the one with Hillary Duff once. I've never seen this one. What can I say? Clueless. Uh, this is the movie, not the TV show. Yes, there were two different items. Because people are very confused by that. Um, what can I say? It was a 90s trend thing. I have seen it. It's been forever. Collateral Damage. Now, this one's interesting. I saw a trailer for this one, and basically, he plays a man who... Something happens, and, like, a family member dies or something, and it's about a bunch of group of friends and stuff basically trying to help them out and get through it. And I really just like the cast in it. I mean, Will Smith, Edward Norton, Helen Mirren, Kate Winslet you don't see in much anymore, Kira Knightley... It'll be interesting. It looks good, though. It's definitely like a Heartstrings movie, obviously. <laughs> Death Becomes Her. This is one of the movies when I first saw it. I became obsessed with it. I watched it a lot. I haven't seen it since then. But basically, these two feud pretty much their entire life. The boyfriend in the middle has kind of been with both of them at one point. And when she gets older, she starts getting jealous of her who starts being on tvs and movies and stuff like that and looks great and she doesn't know how and she becomes obsessed about her looks and so she ends up siding starting out this woman that somebody told her to go to who gives her this elixir who keeps her alive forever and you end up figuring out that both these two ladies did the same thing and so they never die and they get dropped downstairs they get shot never die the bodies look like crap. I mean, who did in the movie when they, like, walk down the stairs? Literally walking down the stairs just, like, breaks her entire body apart. And they were actually at his funeral, so they obviously lived for a good amount of time, but... Yeah, didn't work too bad. I'm talking too much. Die Hard, 1 through 5. I have not seen these series. I have not even seen the first one, I don't think, so this should be fun. Now, if you look, this right here is actually what she's putting in her movie. So, she's just got, like, one case where she folds it, sits it in, and then takes a, her disc, put two of them in here, pops in the middle, and calls it good, and closes a flap. On mine, I only really have spots for two discs that I showed you here and in the back. So, in that case, I ended up stealing her cover and sliding it into that front little piece I said. That way, I could house all of them. There are certain movies that I have that I've already done that I haven't bothered stealing these that I've had, like, the third disc be a digital copy or bonus stuff that I'm probably never going to watch and I honestly could throw away that I've, like, slid behind this entire thing. But not when it comes to, like, movies. And this sucker's thick right now with all five movies. to sleep um i'm pretty sure we've talked about it if not ashley has but 
I actually saw it on a, watching it on on demand with my dad, and then it looked really good, and I wanted to finish it, so I watched it with Ashley. We recently actually watched The Shining and then Doctor Sleep, which made a lot of sense because I had not seen Doctors or The Shining in forever. So they were talking about like The Shine and stuff, and I don't remember that movie movie being about magical abilities at all. And so when I watched it, I was so confused. But watched them both back to back, and they were really good. Elf, Buddy the Elf, basically is been adopted by Santa and he realizes he's different from them and wants to go find his real life dad and it's kind of one of those movies that's hard for me to stomach but at the same point I think it's cute I like the fact that he gets a girlfriend everything everything this is another romantic movie that I have not seen but my niece has because of course she just has Ever After, I think I might have showed you that. Honestly, I just got confused because I pulled the movie out and that's, I think, the spot it was in. <laughs> it's kind of difficult doing this because there's no way to really hold your spot. But uh, Fantasy Island is a movie me and Ashley saw in theaters. I don't know if we reviewed it or not, but it was an interesting story about going to an island where basically they go into, like, whatever and whatever their fantasies are come true. And at first it starts all nice and... You know, one of them gets to be in the war like he always wished he could because his dad was in the war. And one of them, two of them are just like at a giant house party with a bunch of half-naked women and they're having the time of their life. And eventually it kind of turns sour and you figure out the real villain of this movie brought them all there because somebody got hurt that they all were, could have helped and never did. And it's an interesting, it's an interesting shift at the end of the movie is what it is. Hobbs and Shaw is the um, next movie to the Fantastic Wow. Fantastic. I can't even talk anymore. Huh. Fast and Furious set. Thank you. Um, I've never seen it. My dad was watching the other day. It looked good, but honestly, I like Dwayne The Rock Johnson. He's one of my favorite guys in action, so. And I just saw The Meg that had John er, Stamos, whatever the guy's name is. Jason Stamos, I think, which... I've never really seen him in anything before that. The Force is a movie me and Ashley watched on TV. Actually off of Netflix about a woman who goes missing, looking for her missing sister. And this Force plays tricks on your mind and they don't live. You know what? Hold on. You're just going to come with me. So I don't have to keep shifting over. I keep putting my finger where the spot is so I don't lose it. This might make me, look, make me look a little bit more natural. Uh, Fred Claus. I actually just watched this for the first... Like, just watched this for the first time this year. And I thought it was awesome. <laughs> um, Vince Vaughn, Paul Giamatti. Well, obviously, Paul Giamatti plays Santa. His brother has been always jealous of him. They never had a good relationship. And this movie is basically about family coming together. And it's a Christmas movie. But it is a funny Christmas movie. Okay, Ghost of Girlfriend's Past. This is another one of those movies that I've seen, but it's been forever and barely remember, but I know that he kind of plays a horrible guy and a horrible boyfriend, and his Ghost of Girlfriend's Past come back and kind of shows him, just like those Christmas movies, his ways and how to become a better man. And like I said, I've seen it actually when I went to go look at a college with my school. We drove to a drive-in theater, and I sat in this drive-in or this movie theater that had maybe seven seats. And me and four of the people watched it. That's all the only reason I remember it. But, eh. Girl on the Train. This looked good when it came out. And honestly, I like Emily Blunt. And that's all you need to know. But I've never, I've never seen it. Obviously.
So it's really hard to organize once you take them out. I'm pretty sure they're not in order anymore, but I don't really care. Good Son. I have seen this movie. Um, it's got a very young Macaulay Culkin and a very young Elijah Wood. Basically, <laughs> they kind of befriend each other. And he ends up going to visit his cousin. Throughout, my mom's out there like yelling, annoying, distracting me. But they're like, they're cousins, they're visiting each other. And Macaulay Culkin's character eventually you end up figuring out he's not all that he seems to be. He has a very evil side. Eventually throughout the movie he tries to kill the parents. Of the other boy, he tries to kill that boy. I mean, it takes him the entire movie for anybody to believe him, and those two end up fighting it off at the end. But it's a good movie. It's a good suspense movie for how young they all are, especially since Elijah Woods and, I mean, Macaulay Corkin, you know, before this, all you ever saw him in is like Huck and Finn and Home Alone, you know, happy movies. Holes. Got to be released on Blu ray. It's based off a book, it's a Disney movie. It was good. The only thing I've actually seen Shia LaBeouf in besides even Stevens. <laughs> Alright, so this is kind of a double whammy. House of a Thousand Corpses, The Devil's Reject, and Three from Hell. So, House of a Thousand Corpses has literally been on Netflix for the last, like, 20 years. Me and my sister never watched because it looks stupid. Well, then we randomly were going to saw this. And we're like, this doesn't seem too bad. Looked up a trailer for it. And it showed that this was part of the same set. So one night we watched this one and this one. But we did not own this one. And the only way to watch this was to watch it off of On Demand. And spend like six bucks to rent it or buy it to your system for six bucks. So instead of doing all that, I ended up buying this <laughs> and this so I could watch this one eventually and finish off the set. Never been a big fan of Rob Zombie horror movies, but these ones are actually not too bad. The Thousand Corpses is probably the weirdest one. The other two, uh, the other one wasn't as bad as this one. It had a, like the beginning of it was okay, but the end of it with the doctor and the well and I don't know. I'd have to watch it again. Well, I'm sure you're watching me, like, the first time. Like, the initial reaction is not as good because you don't, like... You haven't seen it a second time I said it. So, before I watch the third one, I'm definitely going to rewatch the other two with it. And last, but not least, is How to Be Single. Um, I know it's a comedy about four women who are trying to be single. And it's about their dating life and all that. Honestly, Rebel Wilson, Dakota Johnson... Leslie Mann, and I don't know who she is, but I've seen them all before in other movies. Ever since, like, Fifty Shades of Grey, I see her in more and more stuff. Dakota Johnson, she's a pretty good actress. I really do like Rebel Wilson. I mean, she's funny. Leslie Mann, I've always liked. She's kind of an interesting age gap on all of them, but we're going to see. I've never seen this movie, but it looks interesting. Alright, I don't know. I'm playing with them. That's the only thing that bugs me about them is these movie things kind of like shift and look one direction or the other. But I'll get used to it. If you look actually at them, you got these little letters sticking out. I actually bought all these like my sister did. That way I knew at least in general area where I'm looking. But if you also look on the top, which you can kind of see... But basically, anything that I had that was a big box that I did not touch. So, I mean, I've got, like, Chucky and Back to the Future, like, collector boxes. Avengers, I had one of them as a steel book, so I couldn't really put them all into cases. And I'm honestly probably not going to touch them. Avatar is, like, a collector's edition. Chucky and Chucky 2 are just sitting out here lonely because Chucky 1's in here. So, if you look, I got, like, Batman, and then you got the other one. Basically, anything that has, like, an individual movie case up here is only here because of the fact that it has the other half of it in a big old box but that's what that kind of looks like uh, it'll probably stay that way i took everything out of all my collections down here um like i did just say though i did just buy clash of the titans and wrath of the titans on blu-ray so i did not have to still mess with these steel cases because there's no slip cover to get the steel cases off so either they'll go to my dad or they'll be thrown away and i'll lose five bucks but i'll be okay um, 
I might eventually move some of these in. Like, I'm thinking about moving in um, Ghostbusters because, honestly, I've never even seen the first two original ones. And it's probably just a normal, like, thicker DVD case behind it so I can get away with it. Mm. Nightmare on Elm Street's kind of the same thing. It's just, like, a thick case. I don't know. I haven't made my mind up on half of these. But there are movies I have already down here that I haven't put up there. Like, uh, Get Saw... Paranormal activity stuff that's in a normal DVD case that's thin, that's not like a collector's edition. But I'm not going to move up there because I don't see the point. I need more room, I will, but like I said, I mean, theoretically speaking, you're looking at one, two, three plus rows of movies that just got fit into one. So by the time I'm done, if my math is correct, by the time I'm done here, one, two, three, this whole section should fit into this column. Maybe a little bit down there, which means these should all go to right about here. So when I am done, I will have this basically empty section filled in to where the movies start again. And that will be it. So, in other words, my collection can keep growing, which is kind of what's fucking everybody up right now. Because we keep buying more and more and more. And after spending so much money on a brand new deck that I bought out there and... All these movies. My credit card bill ain't doing much right now, but buying movies sure does make me happy. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna hang up this video for now. I just wanted you guys to see what we got. I know Ash did a video. I always feel it's weird if you don't do a video at the same time with the other person because, I mean, this is a channel we started together, so I figured if she was gonna show you guys what she was doing and what she has gotten recently, I would do the same thing. Eventually, I will fix all of these, and they were all the cases, but until I can afford more of these at $22 an hour, I mean, I've blown enough on movies right now, I don't want to keep blowing on these cases too much, so, but right now, I'll hold off, they are tedious too, I mean, it took me, I bought 200 of them while she was out of town, and it took me four nights to put 200, or two, two nights to do 200 movies, which doesn't sound bad, but that's like three, four hours. I mean, it's very tedious to try to get them to slide in there. Obviously, it's hard plastic, so they stick. And you're trying to, like, slide it in there, and it's not going up. It's not at the perfect angle. You hit the top or the bottom or the back side, and it doesn't slide. All sorts of hassle. But I do like how they look. It was a long challenge for me. I actually still have those bags down there, all the slip covers, which I have not decided to get rid of. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. But I don't know yet. I kind of want to save them. My mom actually gave me permission to cut them up and make some kind of like wall meal with them in the family room. So I might do that. But for now, they're staying with me. I can't think of anything else. Bought a new video game, but this isn't a video game channel. Haven't bought any new seasons, but this isn't a season channel. Even though I haven't bought any, so it doesn't matter anyway. Still working. Um, oh, uh, that's... Okay, let's try like a life update. Hold on. That's a good idea. I just said you here. I didn't think I would be at this still. Anyway, uh, so I'm still with... It's just like a phone's going off. Sorry. Still with Lane's cabinets. Um, still like it. Bo, who was originally a worker and a brother-in-law, is now back, which is kind of interesting to do, deal with. Um... The only real new change in this job is I am in the middle of studying to get my CDL. So I've driven the truck now three or four times. I lied. I've driven it twice. Three times now, actually. I don't, because I don't actually have my permit yet, I can't like go on road tests or anything like that with it. But basically one of the guys I work with is a really cool dude who offered to train me and my boss already said that they would pay for my uh health test they I can't they won't pay for my test itself but I you know to fork up $200 to go get a permit and then when I'm done fork up another $200 to get a CDL that eventually means I can work anywhere pretty much and even if I do stay at this career I get paid $24 versus you know what a 15 14 whatever I make now I mean I'm just saying, it'll be worth it. So I'm excited about that, nervous, because so far I haven't done too great with the driving side of the backing up side of things of these semis, but I'm assuming that comes with experience, and right now everything's still kind of backwards to me, so. But yeah, um, hopefully this all calms down, and the next video you won't see will be at least for about five months in. 
So until then, I would go say, get her and have her say goodbye to you since she started the video with us. But she's still in there and she could possibly be asleep. I know she's not taking a shower, so she's probably in a nightgown. And she'd kill me, so I'm just going to end it now and say thank you for watching. We'll see you guys next time.